So remember this morning we were saying the rosary. And after every decade of the rosary, we say a prayer. Oh my Jesus, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those involved in the lightness. Came from Fatima. Came from the provision of Fatima in July. And it's part of the first secret of Fatima, the mission of hell. Okay? Also, Hafita was very devoted to the Holy Father. Uh, she had few visions of the Holy Father up on his knees, crying and praying in front of thousands of people who were dying because they were starving. They had nothing to eat. So, Jacinta uh, uh, was always fully in front of the Holy Father. And there's a reason why after the Rosary, we say a prayer for the intention of the Holy Father, and because of the Okay. So, uh, also, for example, when the three children were in jail, and the governor said, if you don't tell me the truth, I will kill you. Jacinta said, okay, great, kill us. They will be sooner at hell. Okay? So, uh, the Blessed Mother, remember, appeared to the three children together from May until October. But to Jacinta, she appeared three, four times just to herself. Just to Jacinta. Two times here in the house, and one time in the hospital in Lisbon. I told you that the year after the last apparition, 1918, Jacinta got sick because of Spanish flu and because of pneumonia, okay? So the Blessed Mother appeared to her and asked her, Jacinta, aren't you still ready to offer more sacrifices for the salvation of the sinner? Yes, I am. So you are going to go to a hospital in the town of Oren, where you are going to have a surgery. So don't worry, because after that you will come back home. That was true. Went to the hospital, Jacinta. The second time the Blessed Mother appeared to her, also in the house, same question. Are you still ready to offer more sacrifices for the salvation of the sinners? Yes, I am. So now you are going to go to a hospital in Lisbon. You are going to go by yourself. Your mom is not going to go with you. Lucia is not going to go with you. And you are going to die there alone. But don't worry, because in the moment of your death, I will come to take you to heaven. And I will go for you. So the night before he moved to Lisbon, to the hospital, she had an interview, or a meeting, the last meeting with Lucia. And you have the words in Portuguese over there. Okay? That you can read in the book if you want to buy later. So uh, uh, Jacinta loved to pick flowers. She loves flowers. And she used to pick those flowers to offer to the little old chapel they built in the Coba de Ria to the Blessed Mother. So she said to, to Jacinta, you know, look, to Lucia, so you know, Lucy, I am going to miss the Lord to go to Malinos to pick flowers to offer to our lady. And then uh, Lucia answered her back, don't worry, Jacinta, because very soon you will be in heaven with our Blessed Mother and our Lord. And then, you know, that words come forth. Uh, uh, Jacinta and Jacinta answered back, yes, see you in heaven. Okay? So she left from Andrew to Lisbon. <coughs> she was in the hospital there. The last time the Blessed Mother appeared to her was to tell her the day, the day she was going to die. And also to tell her <coughs> that the most, uh, or the sin that uh, often most Christ, or Christ the most, or Jesus Christ the most, was the, the, um, the sin of the flesh. And this is the one that is offending more popular, more times to, to God. And she passed away in February um, 2019 20. So, February uh, 2019 20 is when Jacinta passed away. And, you know, after her death, you have to understand that still we have a socialist uh, uh, party running the country. So, the people were afraid about somebody making any damage to the body of Jacinta. Like, remember when Jesus Christ was crucified? Joseph Warai Batia requests his body to be buried in the Holy Sepulchre. So the same thing with Jacinta. There was a, a very important nobleman uh, called the Marquis of Falta Biden who decided to request the body of Jacinta to be buried in his own property, okay? And to keep that body there until 1931, when, uh, 1935, sorry, when her body was moved to the tomb with her uh, brother. When her body was moved from that tomb to the tomb of the cemetery of Fatima, her body was untouched, incorrupt, and it smelled like roses. Okay? Her body, in 1951, was moved to the Basilica, where now she's buried, the Basilica of Our Lady Rosary, and her body was untouched and it smelled like roses. Okay? Amazing, isn't it? 